Well, Stu, it'll be a long story probably for the city. Now, the city, it says the jet itself right behind me is stable, shows no signs that its elevation has changed. But they say the ground is showing signs that something is going on underneath, and the Parks and Rec Department wants to hire an engineer to get to the bottom of it. It's a beautiful park overlooking Dirksen Drive, a place to honor heroes, veterans who serve their country. There are several monuments here at DeBerry Memorial Park, the most prominent, an F-15 Eagle fighter jet. And we've learned the ground below it may be vulnerable. City officials say they first noticed a depression on one side of the jet in 2008 after boring down six feet. The next year they went deeper, excavating 10 feet, where they found buried organic material. The site was backfilled and compressed but in 2011 sinking again. And currently, there's noticeable sidewalk buckling. That's why the director of Parks and Recreation is asking city commissioners this week to sign off on a request to hire an engineering company. The director wrote, the depression has gotten progressively worse, causing damage and several repairs to the sidewalk near the depression. This request is needed at this time to evaluate the area to determine the cause of the depression, prevent future damage at the park, and ensure the safety of the jet. No one is calling the problem a sinkhole, but they need to rule it in or out, figure out what really is going on. Now, three engineering companies have submitted bids to do the work, and if city commissioners sign off, uh, the city will select one of those companies to bore 100 feet deep, uh, take soil samples, and come up with some sort of a remedy plan. The money for the project has already been accommodated up to $17,000. We're live in DeBerry, Volusia County, Claire Metz, WESH 2 News.